Hello guys, welcome back to Good Share Tips once again and this video we're going to talk about how to fix Resident Evil 4 is having controller or gamepad is not working on a PC and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into this. So the first step is all about if you have connected to additional joystick that means you have to disconnect everything. Okay, you have to disconnect everything from the USB port. If any adi anything additional is connected, for example, controllers, you have to disconnect it. If any unplug hotas are connected, you have to unplug it as well. If any Logitech wheels are connected, just remove it. If any pedals are connected, you have to remove it. And the, everything that is connected to the USB port should be removed at any cost. You have to remove it. And if any virtual controllers are connected, you have to disable and uninstall them. Remove everything from the USB port and once after that, launch the game and that is going to work for you for sure. Once the game is launched and it is smooth enough, just connect back the respective controller if you are playing the game with the controllers or else you can find more with the keyboard. Because uh, I am playing the game with most probably with the keyboards, so you can uh, play with the keyboard. So if anything is connected apart from this, is, which I mentioned above, has to be removed at any cost and this is the first and basic step. Next one is all about, we need to disable the steam input, that is what you have to do. For many users, when they disable the steam input, that did work out for them. So just go to the game, right click and go to properties. Now go to controllers. Over here, as you can see, there is an option called use default settings. So you just have to select this one. There is an option for disable steam input, use default settings, enable steam input. So just go for disable steam input as the first one then try to launch the game. This did work out for many users. If that is not the case, change this to enable steam input, then launch the game. That is going to work for you as well. Two, among any one of these from the two will be definitely working. For most people, when they change this to disable the steam input did work out for them. So you can try this out. That did work out for many users and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to configure the controller for that. We need to go over here at the top just go to settings now from here go to controllers now from here go to general controller settings now from here go to continue so over here as you can see uh, you have to select the respective one if you're trying to play the game with playstation uh, playstation you have to select this one if you're trying to play the game with any xbox xbox controllers select this one if you're using any other thing, for example, generic gamepad, you have to select this one. So you have to configure if you, with using the controllers which you already have. So you have a PlayStation and if you're selecting the Xbox, then that is not going to work. And you have the Xbox, but you're selecting the PlayStation is not going to work for you as well, which is quite common. So make sure you have to configure the controller and make sure you have to select the respective one which you have to select and select the appropriate one. And once it is being set, you just have to exit then you just have to try to play the game. This did work out for many users as I have seen it in the Quora and even in the Reddit and even in the forums they did mention this. So I'm adding this particular step here. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game in the big picture mode. For that we need to go over here as well. Sorry, I'll show over here. So just go to this icon, big picture mode that will take you to the Steam. This is a new OS. This was not the same in the past because now this big picture mode has been changed into like a as you can see, those who are having the Steam Deck, you know, they will be having definitely the same user interface. I play game in the Steam Deck, so that is why I'm saying this. For those who are new to this, you know, they won't feel any change. But those who are on the PC for a long time playing the game on the Steam, you know, this this is not the way how it looks like the OS. So it has changed it. So from here, you have to select the game. So here I'm having the game Resident Evil, Squad, uh, Star Wars, any, many games are there. So I have to select the respective one, which I wanted to click on this one. Now just go to the play and you have to play the game and that is going to work for it. So after this, if you wanted to go back, just press X, uh, just launch the game from this uh, big picture mode. Then most probably the issue has to be fixed. Once you uh, played the game and if you don't know how to exit, just, just press on the escape key. Now you just have to go back over here and go to the power and you'll get options like this. Go for exit big picture mode, not exit steam. So just go for exit big picture mode. Mm -hmm. So you are back to the game and that is bingo. This is how you can exit it. So next one is all about if PS5 controllers are connected, try using re DS4 Windows, etc. If it is already there. So that is not an important, but for PS4 users, 
when they try the ds4 windows didn't work out for them you can try it out as well and the xbox users they just have to do is they just have to install the xbox accessories app and they need to update the controller so for that we just need to go over here go to uh, store we need to go to store now open the store now from here we have to search for xbox accessories app and using this xbox accessories app we need to update the controller so go for xbox accessories app okay so just download this one and uh, if it's already there as you can see it's already there so you can update the controllers using this so for me i don't have the controller so those who are having the controller right they will be getting the option to click on the help uh, they will be having the controllers will be connected like this so they just need to update it up and after updating try to play the game that is going to work for you like a bingo last and the least one is all about you have to use a wired controller because this did work out for many users and you can try this out as well so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with resident evil 4 crash uh, i mean uh, they are not controller is not working or the gamepad is not uh, not working and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification we'll come back with more videos stay tuned